Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Israel Adesanya versus Drysis Duplessis. It was announced early today. I did a short of it. I typically don't do a reaction. I don't do a prediction this early out, but this fight is way too good not to talk about this early. Uh, this fight means so much because there's so much bad blood, but it's also because these fighters are good. And for the first time with with Adrisis, he's going to fight an elite striker besides uh, Alex Pereira, of course. Also, Adrisis is, is a good fighter. We know this. His cardio may not be as much of an issue as we originally thought. A lot of people think I hate Adrisis. I, I don't hate him. Do I think he's a little bit overrated? I I do. I think also the hatred towards Israel is a little ridiculous. Besides the dog stuff, I don't necessarily know a whole lot about that. But again, as a person, I don't care unless he's... There's some things I would care, but that... I, I don't know. I don't know. So, um... This fight is so... Again, uh, the hate with Izzy with, like, boring fights. I was like, he was in control. So, well, what's boring? That Jared Cannonier couldn't do anything? That's that's ridiculous. That he's not putting himself, he's not doing anything, but he's also not putting himself in harm's way for Izzy to finish him, which is why Jared Cannonier didn't do anything special, why Jared wasn't pushing it, because he would have been finished. Because that style of just charging forward would get him caught. Was it the greatest fight ever? Of course not. But did Izzy dominate? Absolutely. Did he lose against Strickland? Yeah. Thought he could beat Strickland. Had an off night. There was also some things circling that fight that you know i think played into it like the dui that came out later you know with his friend passing and all of these things you know but anyways back to drysis and israel adesanya this this fight just really really marks the the tale of two pretty damn good uh pretty damn good main event of UFC 305. The card, I don't believe, is currently 100% confirmed. But, uh, okay. It is. There's there's four fights. But, Dreyse's Duplessis, 21 wins, two losses, on a pretty big win streak of nine, nine wins in a row. 31, 30 years old, 6'1", with a 76-inch reach. Fighting Israel Adesanya, he's 24 and 3, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 1 and 2 in his last three. Obviously against good competition, Alex Alex Pereira, and then finished Pereira in the next one, and then lost to Sean Strickland nine months ago. Said he was gonna take a long time off. He's back, baby. He's back. 35 years old, 6'4", with an 80-inch reach, 4-inch reach advantage with a 3-inch height advantage. The one X factor in this matchup to me personally is how big Duplessis he is and how big he is when he implements his wrestling. When he gets a hold of Izzy, how does Izzy, um, how does Izzy respond to that? Now, of course, there are some things that Israel Adesanya can do to keep him away or make him pay. Is if he takes, you know, uh, bad shots, make him pay. If he overswings, make him pay. Chop his legs, make you know all these things he has to do to make him pay. The worry is how does is he do when Duplessis gets him down? Because I believe he's gonna get him down. I think it'd be crazy if he didn't. I don't necessarily know what he does. Israel does to stop that for five rounds. Okay, so break that down a little bit more. What does Izzy do for the first two to two and a half rounds to maybe take that away, make that a little bit less fact, less, less of a factor? L low stance, you know, teeps, front kicks, pick your shots, a lot of side to side movement. Don't stay in one space. Don't move straight in on the center line. And then for Dreyses, just back, get Izzy backing up against that cage. Cut him off. Don't follow him because then you're in trouble. And and get him against that cage. Try to take him down. So, uh, you know, Izzy has fought the better of competition. He fought Whitaker now, what, th two times? Yeah, two times now. Pereira, Polk, a <laughs> bunch of times. Izzy's the more tested fighter. Now, Duplessis is 30 years old. Uh, Izzy is 35 now at this point. This time off, I think, is great for for Adesanya. I think he's more durable, which he's always been pretty damn durable, besides with Pereira. 
Um, even with the knockdown with Strickland, you just, you know, got hurt, but he also recovered very quickly, let the referee know that he was good and all these things. But again, this fight is super exciting. I, I, I'm very, very excited for this one. Of course, my pick is Adesanya, but this is not an easy fight. This is a very, very tough, tough fight for Adesanya. With all the bad blood, with all the shit talking that we've had, at the end of these, at the end of the day, these men, these fighters, shake hands, let the best man win. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you're picking. Peace.